Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. I hope that you are doing well today. I hope that you are having a good day. I want to talk to you today about something that uh, came to my mind when I was sitting at church today. You, did you hear the song? Did you know the song, um, The End of the Road? It was by Boys to Men. It was back in the 90s. Man, those guys could really sing. I bet they could, you know, even their snoring probably has a wonderful harmony and melody to it. If you put them together, they could really sing. But it was called The End of the Road. Of course, in that song, it's all about a romance. It's about a relationship that has come to the end of the road. Well, then I started thinking about how, you know, God, sometimes he's like, listen, <laughs> I'm going to allow you to do what you want to do because I've given you free will, but you have indeed come to the end of the road. Now, what are you going to do? I've been trying to get you to turn on the right road way back some streets ago, but you just have been just traveling along this wrong road. And uh, I've been just kind of screaming at you, hey, you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. And now you've come to the end of the road. What are you going to do? So what do you do? Perhaps you are at a point in life where you feel like something has come to the end of the road. Could it be that you've been on the wrong road the whole time? Could it be that you have missed God's directions, that GPS? I call my GPS system, Miss Ma'am. Could it be that you missed the turn? Well, what do you do if you have missed a turn and you've been on the wrong road and now it's like you've come to the end of the road? Do you turn around? Do you stop and ask the Lord, well, what do I do now? Do I turn around? Could it be that the end of the road is um, a place for you to just kind of stop and pause and say, okay, what do I do? Is it that I'm to turn around? Or is it that I am to make a turn, a left or the right? You know how the road will tee off sometimes when you've hit the end of a road and it's like there's no more road. He probably could have been trying to get you to turn on the right road streets back, but you missed it. Is it a missed opportunity? Is it something that you cannot get back? Sometimes that is the case, but sometimes it's not. I remember Jonah, you know, the story of Jonah. He went down the wrong way. He turned around when God called him to go to Nineveh to talk to those hard-headed people that he said they're just heathens. They, they're not worth saving. But he went his own way. He was on the right road, but he went and turned around and he actually veered off to the left. And he did something that he didn't have no business doing and got some people in trouble. And the Lord helped him to get back on the right road. He had to turn back around. That was the end of the road. The end of the road was in the belly of that fish. That was the end of the road. And he had an opportunity to turn around. Nineveh, they had come to a point where they had just, they were just a wicked city. But it was like they've come to the end of the road. The end of the road in God's eyesight of, hey, this is enough. And, you know, I'm fixing to give you a chance and I'm going to send a prophet. Both had come to the end of the road and God said, okay, but you can turn things around. So sometimes we can get to the end of the road when we've been going down the wrong road and the Lord will allow us to turn around. Now, sometimes though, you, had, you may could come to the end of the road with something in your life, been going down the wrong road. It could be the wrong relationship, could be the wrong career, the wrong job. It could be whatever it is. You've been down the wrong road here. And it's like, uh, what do I do now? On the flip side, though, you could be on the right road and you come to the end of the road or, or, or so it seems. Okay. You can be on the right road and it comes to a T or it's like there's no more road left and it's like it appears to be the end of the road, okay? Sometimes it could be that way. So what do you do in that situation? Well, I'm remembering the Israelites when they were being led out of Egypt by Moses and they were on the right path. It may seem like they were on the wrong road because Pharaoh's armies was right behind them the whole time. And it's like they didn't really know it, but perhaps they may have 
thought that they would come, but they were on the right road. But then they face this Red Sea. Well, it's like their road has teed off. It's teed off into this big body of water. What do we do? What did they do? So they were on the right road, but the road teed off and it was indeed the end of the road. What did they do? They looked to Moses. They started complaining. They didn't know what to do. We know what they did. But the moral of this video is this. It appeared to have been the end of the road. If you don't know the story, you know I'll have the scripts for you to review in the description box. Please go and do so. But we know, most of us, that what happened? God parted the Red Sea. But can you imagine? It was truly something to see when they were the people that were actually there. I can't imagine. But the Lord parted the Red Sea. God Almighty parted the Red Sea. So what looked like the end of the road, it was not. It was just that it was this barrier here and it's like, okay, do we can't go around it. We can't go to the left or to the right. What do we do? Are we supposed to just stay here and just die? Is this a dead end that has no ending but death? No, that was not the case. God parted the Red Sea so that they could walk through, through on dry land. So sometimes in our lives, it may appear that something is truly the end. There's no hope for this marriage. There's no hope for this relationship. There's no hope between me and my mom, my dad, some other relationship in the family. There's no hope. I've reached a dead end. I've come to the end of the road with trying to reach my loved one. I don't know what else to do. It's just a dead end. It, it's the end of the road. It's a done deal. Can't go no further. My friend, it may not be. It may be that the Lord is saying, okay, so now what are you going to do? On the other road where you might be on the wrong road, it's like, okay, are you going to listen to me? Are you going to say, hey, okay, Father, I hear you. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do what I need to do. Or I'm going to go ahead on and sever this and let it be known that, okay, you're saying this is the end of the road, so this is it. Sometimes it is it. And it's like, you can't go no further. And then the point of this is though, it's like this. Either way, with the ends of these roads and all of these examples where Sometimes you can't go any farther. Sometimes it's like you got to turn around and sometimes he'll give you that opportunity. But on a flip side, on another side, it could be where it appears that it's the end of the road. Where do you look? Where can you look? My friend, as the word says, I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. When we have reached a dead end, when we have come to the end of the road, there's no other place to look but up. Where is up? Up is into the heavens. Up is God Almighty. Up is Lord, what do I do now? Where do I go? I'm looking to you to open the road. I'm looking for you to show me, help me see through, help me see a way. There's a way Perhaps, Father, help me see it. If there is no way and you don't want me to go forward, then, Father, I will do that. If you want me to go back, then, Father, I will do that. The tip for you is this. Look up when you have come to the end of the road so that you'll know whether or not it is indeed the end, whether or not you need to stop in your tracks, don't go any further, and just get out the car and just, if that's it. That is nothing else that you can do. That road is done. It's no, there's just a pit behind it. And it is a downfall. It is a free fall. It is death on the end, on the other side. If you try to get through the barricade, if you try to continue to go down a road where you, you, it, it, you know, you think that, well, maybe, maybe, maybe this isn't the end, but it really is. God may be trying to tell you, look, you can't go no further. That's it. That's stop. You need to quit. It's done. Or he could be saying, turn around, turn around. You missed a turn, but the turn is still there. The opportunity is still there. I just need you to listen to me and turn around and come back, come back to me so that you can turn and get on the right road. You've been on the wrong road. This road may have ended. This road may have ended, but the road is still back there. I'm waiting for you back there. I need you to hear my voice, turn around and come back come back to me. It could be that, or it could be, look, the road does not end here. It continues on the other side. Will you trust me? Will you look to me? 
Will you look to the hills from whence cometh your help so that I can part that Red Sea for you? So you can walk through on dry land. That is what we have to do. When we come to the end of the road, we have to look up. Think about it. If you look to the left, you're probably going to go the wrong way. But if you look to the right, then, you know, it might be the right way, but it may not be. Either way, there's a gamble when you're looking to the left or to the right. The Bible says don't look to the left or the right. Look up. Look up. Look to the hills from whence cometh your help. And understand this. Isaiah 43, 2, I'm going to have that script in the description box. Whether you got to go through the waters or through the fires, the Bible says, the Lord says that he is with you. It may seem like you're fixing to go through some waters, but who was with the Israelites when they were walking through the walls of water on both sides? They had come to the end of the road, but the waters opened up. He said that he will be with us throughout the waters, through the waters, through the fires. He'll be with us. He'll walk with us. So we got to trust him at his word. And we also have to remember when Psalm 119, 105 says, it says that your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So if we don't know where to go, again, where do you find it? The word, the word is God and the and God is his word. So we have to look up, look up when the end of the road has come. So that is the tip. That is the scripts for the day. And, uh, you know, <laughs> it was just a wonderful passages there. I mean, I just heard the song, the end of the road. I'm sitting up in church and the song, the end of the road came. That's just amazing. That's just how God talks to me. Sometimes he does talk to me in a song and he gave me that word. And uh, that word is for me. But again, I always share it with you always. I love you, my friend. Hey, if you have not subscribed, go ahead on and subscribe. Why don't you please share this video, like it, give it a thumbs up and turn on the notification bell so that you can get more tips, more scripts for successful living because successful living means going down the right road, always carrying the Lord with you on your road in your life every day. That is the key for successful living. So until the next video, I pray that you have a wonderful day, no matter what day it is. If you have a specific prayer request, feel free to put it in the comments. And hey, share this with a friend. Take care. Bye now.